Hello everybody, I'm Shannon with Earl Fan Products. We're going to do a Bravo 350 update. Uh, before we were doing the Bravo 140s, which we still do, and then we do the Bravo 300s, which has been eliminated. So on this, we're going to go front to back, start to finish. Um, so there's an advanced menu set up on this. Now what you want to do is you want to hold these two buttons down and hit the on button. What that's going to do is that's going to take you into advanced menu setup. Once you see advanced menu setup, it's going to go into these configurations. Our facility, when we install them new from the factory, we put these presets in here. And the way that you set the presets, you just select, it's got an arrow right there. You're going to select on the language. If you like that language, you're just going to hit OK and it locks it in. You just run these arrows up and down, go to the unit of measurements, which were in US. You hit OK. You can change it to metric, which will be in US. And you just hit OK and that locks that function in there. The ultrasonic figuration, like on this machine, is just a two-eye system. When you hit OK, you have this footage right here is from the sensor to the center of the nozzles. Okay, That's how it knows exactly where it's at when it's spraying. Um, this has got two eyes, so when you scroll down here to the sensor sections, when you hit OK, you have the option of going to a two-eye, a four-eye, or a six-eye. So when you run a two-eye system, you want to put it on two sections, two booms, okay? And you hit OK, locks it in there. And then as you, and when you exit out of that, if you want to get out, you just hit the exit, and then you're going to go down to section configuration. Hit OK. So we're two boom, or two eyes, so we're doing two sections, one on each side, okay? If we were doing actually a four-zone or a six-zone section, our manifolds would be set up into uh, duals, or uh, three zones, two zones, a single zone, a two zone, or a three zone section. Okay, so we're doing two zone, uh, two eyes, only two sections, one on each side. We're gonna escape out of that. Valve configuration. Um, so there's a lot of this function, a lot of this uh, Bravo 350, it has a lot of broad acre stuff, flow meters and things like that. There's a lot of those things that you will not need or use. So you just put a value of none when you don't need those configurations, okay? On this particular setting right here though, we are in uh, a solenoid uh, on and off um, valve system. So you wanna set solenoids, okay? Uh, pressure regulator, uh, I don't really think in this system it really matters for us. So um, it just, whatever the default is, it is. Flow meter, we're not using any of that. So you give it, you just, you can disable it. Uh, if you hit OK, you can see it's this is already set preset with the Orion Orion uh, flow meter, and we've just disabled everything um, on that. Pressure sensor, we're not using any of that, so it'll just say disabled, just like the other ones. Just like I said, you hit OK, see it says disabled. You hit OK, it'll lock that in there. Delivery cow sensor, we're not playing with any of that. Tank level, so this one here we do have set at a thousand gallon, this is a thousand gallon machine. So if it had a rate controller or anything like that, it would show the volume as it counted down. Uh, but in this section, we're not gonna be using that. Rev counter, we're not using any of that. And that's it for that section. So once that's all preset, locked in, you just hit escape. It'll say quit, you say okay. And then what we're gonna do is it brings you to the main menu. This is what your growers are gonna see when they fire up this machine at the first time. Okay, if you'll notice on this, there's another section that has some other presets. And what you're gonna do is hit these two levers and hit okay. And it's gonna bring you into the user settings, okay? So you can actually hit this and put a job selection if you want. Um, this particular unit, I don't think we're doing anything on any job selection. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna hit okay and just get out of that. Or well, actually, I should have hit escape. Okay, current job. Um, you can put in there and put what you're doing in gallons per acre, your rates and your tree count, or your tree spacing and all that, if you'd like. I'm just gonna escape out of that. Same thing with job setups. You can put whatever jobs you want to do in there. All of ours are disabled because we're not using any of it. Boom setups, um, it's just another type of uh, calibrating tools that you can use if you're using flow meters and all the other stuff I believe on this system. We're gonna escape out of that. Same thing with nozzle setup. 
Okay, intervention sensibility. What this is, is this is a phase in, phase out setting that you can actually, so when you hit okay on that, you can actually set it, like we have this set in to come 12 inches in and 12 inches out of the tree. Uh, we've already calibrated the wheels and we'll, we'll show you how that works. But on this system right here, what we have is we have it set to come in 12 inches before, 12 inches after, okay? Um, and if you want a bigger window, you just hit okay and you can open that window up, just up or down. When you're done, you like that, you just hit okay, it locks it in there. Working limits, we're not using anything on that. Uh, tank, it's still set at a thousand gallons. Speed, okay, so if you hit okay on this, what it's gonna say is that we're, we do have wheel sensors and we are in auto right now, okay? You can go manual or auto feature. Okay, so on this right here, if you wanna, we've already dialed this machine in so it's it's actually spot on with the tractor. And the way you do that, you just come down here to wheel settings, hit okay, and then you go to, uh, these are pulses per revolution. So on the fly, you can shift this as you go and it's just up or down. And what we've done is we've just dialed this machine in to match the tractor speed with a radar gun, okay? And that's how you would set the wheel sensors so that way they're calibrated properly. <coughs> Excuse me. And when you're done, just hit okay and it locks it in. We're not using any flow rate. You wanna show them real quick how to do a manual ground speed? Okay, manual ground speed. If I go to speed and I hit okay, uh, excuse me, let me escape out of that. I think you're right. Yeah, what's up? Go to speed, change the wheel, right there, source. Okay, and we can go to Uh, I think we just got to turn it off. Test. When you go to test, if you hit OK, see how it says speed simulation? We have it turned off because it's not manual. We're running wheel sensors. If you want to run manually, what you do is you hit OK, just turn it on, press OK, that locks it in. Now what you're going to know is I'm going to go back to the main. I'm going to exit out of all of this because that's the only last thing that we're going to do on this screen. I'm going to exit totally out of this and I'm going to go to the main screen. So now how you see how it says 2.8 miles per hour, I can actually shift that on the fly. Okay. And I can go up or down. What that does is that actually can change the window or the speed. Like let's say we're getting hit with a little bit of a wind. It looks like it's missing the target. We can actually manually adjust that to where it comes on sooner or later to hit the target zone. Uh, most most of our grounds flat uh, we're not rolling hills um, so that on the fly a guy could actually do that driving down the road if he saw it was coming off a little bit he could actually adjust that speed to correct that wind from knocking it off target okay so out of the settings we're just gonna go ahead and get out of that we showed you how to do the oh no we're already out there okay so this function right here you see how it says M for manual Okay, if you hit that once and then hold it down, that will be auto, okay? So that means when you take off and you start driving, the sensors are automatically gonna take over and when it sees a target zone, it's gonna, it's gonna calibrate the wheel speed and hit that target zone, okay? Um, and you would do that for both sides before you take off. So it's one quick press and then one long hold until it turns black around the icon. Yeah. Um, this is a master switch. We, on this section, booms, we're using three and four. Uh, when you flip this up, you notice that these turn black, <clears throat> okay? That means that they're, the system's live, ready to go. Uh, so as soon as you start moving, it's, if it sees a target, it's actually gonna spray that target, okay? If you wanna go, mat, like you get to the end of a row and you're close to the road and you don't wanna spray anybody, you can actually flip them both off and it kills the whole system, okay? If it's on, you can actually turn it off one side if you're making a turn okay so that's just a nice easy way to be able to turn this machine off when you're getting close to the road we know we have to watch out for people and well, most of the time our flaggers are out there uh, but that's just for the driver to know that he can actually manually do that on the fly even though it's auto he can still manually turn this machine off if he needs to um, other than that that's pretty much 
the new updates. The old one would set when you hit this, it would flash. Um, these aren't doing that anymore. Yeah. So how do we run it in manual? When you run it in manual, okay. And we're gonna we can set this back to manual, and then when we flip these switches, we can turn it off and on, or we can turn right. both of them off. I think the the, uh, the the arrows, which is a little different, these arrows here live the right and left, so you can control the valves. Yeah, when they're not lit up, then that means that it's manual and it's not auto taking over. When it's turned off, then you see it light up. That means the machine is actually doing the work for you. Right, right. Yeah, this guy here. Push it once, hold it down. Locked into manual. This is the other new thing, start pump. So this feature here is to run for flow control. We're not using flow control, so when you push auto, it says manual regulation. That means that we're not using flow control. So right now the spray valve is on. So if you notice here now I'm in manual mode, when you turn this switch on and off, it controls that valve. So if you turn it on here, you can actually control that valve here also. Or you can control it off the master switch. Little different functionality, but we wanted mainly to lay this out so everybody understands just the new little changes coming with the Bravo 350 system. Last words? Well, if you have any questions, please give us a call at Aerofan Products. Number is 559-638-6546. Thank you guys very much.